Right then, guys. Thomas and Jake have been very, very busy. So they have a new floor. There is, what, Jake, two inches of gravel yeah. underneath. There we go. Two inches of gravel underneath for, um, what's the word, Jake? Irri uh, not irrigation. Uh, drainage. Drainage, that's the word. So it's the two inches of gravel underneath, and then there's about two inches of this fen fen fennings fibre. Yeah. Shrub fennings fibre. The bloody rest of the garden's awful because like, everything just got yanked out. But we've been so busy doing chicken stuff, we've not had a chance. We still have two separate groups at the moment. We have the big girls who are going to run like hell when I come up here in a minute. They're going to go, no! So they just, I don't know. We had them at 10 weeks. I mean, they're friendly enough if you've got worms or something. They're quite happy to come and eat them. <laughs> Put them up there, Jake. I'm going to have a dust bath. Oh. Um, I'm showing them it's okay. Yeah. If you've got worms and stuff, they'll come up and get on your legs for them, you know. Oh. They're just anti-social. The leg horns go, yeah. They're scared of the big, bigger ones, but they've all got to integrate. Oh, they're actually, do they, have they even realised what the sand in the, in the tyres is for yet? No. <laughs> My chickens are thick. They really are thick. Yeah. We have one of those down there who's actually trying to crow at the moment. It's so funny. It's making such a weird noise. It sounds like he's being strangled. Oh, he is that right, bonkers? Yes. Well. Now we're having a good investigation of what's going on. So all of Jake and Thomas's hard work. Jake's going to go and cut down another yucca tree for me in a bit because it's uh, it's rotten anyway. So we're going to bring it in and let the girls have it, aren't we, Jake? Once yeah. you've done it. So hey, big girls. Hi. See, these two aren't so bad. The little sea birds. I can actually pick them up, but the others are like, no. See, you tried to point me. Now where did that get you? Oh, was he doing that, Jake? Was it Jake? Was he doing the big I am? <laughs> He's yeah. talking, giving him a talking to. Yeah. Is he steric? Yes. Hello, handsome. He's beautiful. Look at him. Pop him down. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. I've uh, put them some growers pellets in there, and we've got a new mixed corn, um, which is a lot better than the other stuff that we had before, and they love it. But what I've done. Um, we've got one up here for the babies because they are trying desperately to get back through there. That is an, literally a shit hole because we've had 14 chickens in there today while this has been worked on. So, but yeah, hello, gorgeous girls. Hi, well, yeah, so much better for them out here, really is. Oh. <laughs> It'll be a shame to see these uh, the male sea brides go, won't it, really, in some respects. But, yes, anybody's interested in one silver and three gold cocks, let me know if you're in the if you're in uh, Dorset. Um, they're gorgeous lads. They really are beautiful boys. They look after their ladies ever so well. But I'm only keeping one. Uh, I think it's the one... But that one there, I'm keeping, that one. So he needs a new home. So, and then the older two aren't related to him at all, and they're beautiful. Hello, gorgeous. So I'm hopefully going to be uh, getting some fertile eggs from them. That would be nice. So, because sea brights are, they're starting to sort of bounce back a little bit, but they are still rare. They're a rare breed. Um, so if anybody's interested in breeding, let me know. I said I've got some beautiful cocks. Um, yeah, there, and same again, there is, um, in there they have, there is some medicated chick crumb, because these are only, they're still coming off, and I forgot to say there is medicated chick crumb in that one. There's rearest pellets, and the same again with the, the mixed corn in there. Um... The reason I've got the um, the chick crumb in is because obviously you you can't just change foods. If you just change foods, you've got a chance of making your chickens poorly. So you sort of add more of one and take less of the other. But I don't think it's going to hurt my large, my bigger girls to eat any of it anyway because 
it's the type that it doesn't completely remove the coccidiosis from their system. Um, so it actually allows the birds to get an immunity to it as they grow. Um, I don't know whether they'll actually eat enough for it to make any difference, but, you know, we'll see. But, yeah, so they've got a nice uh, sand bath there. These are bolted down to pick side to wood, which is actually buried um, underneath there. Jake, bless him, dragging them round for me earlier when I was directing him where I wanted them. And that one's the same. It's just sharp builder sand. Um, it's got bits of grit in it as well, so they can eat the grit. Um, and you would think it turns the birds yellow, but it doesn't. They've actually been in the mud again, underneath. Well, it wasn't mud earlier, but doesn't look the best now anyway. But yeah, so they clean up pretty well, as you can see. So, got so much junk and crap, we've got to move now. <laughs> and this one, in there is just growers pellets. None of my girls have actually started to lay as yet. So, until we start getting eggs, I won't be giving them layers pellets um, as yet. But we have put um, that, uh, that one there. It's actually full of flint and oyster grit. Um, so, they can pick and choose what they want out of it. And that is a 10 litre waterer and you'd be surprised how quick it goes down um, at the moment there's 14 chickens in here but I mean they were actually up the sea brights were all up there yesterday on the roof they can actually get up onto that roof um, when they're in here so I mean they've got loads of room we have got some more branches and we've got a few more logs to bring in Please ignore the colour of the logs, that sanitising powder. Um, that will actually just blow off. Um, it just makes sure everything's clean. It kills any bugs, mites. But it is, it is just, it is for poultry. Oh! <laughs> the silky's like, no, don't you dare touch me. How dare you, she says, look. Look at the look on her face. They're so funny, these silkies. Especially since they can actually see now, since they've had the faces trimmed. In yeah. In their beak. No, I trimmed their. No, I love how they clean their. Oh, beaks. clean their beaks, yeah. That well, that's why that big stone's there for them to wipe their beak on it because it actually keeps the beak trimmed down. Um, and then they can clean it on there as well, obviously. Oh, look, we've got somebody having a dust bath. Really? You've got the sand pit there, and you're having a dust bath. I don't think. Look at him next to you, Jake. You see him? Yeah. I mean, they've got proper dust baths, but no. They'd rather use the floor. This one's very interested in this. Mm -hmm. They're very friendly though, aren't they? Yeah. A friend of ours actually bred them, so they're very used to being handled. Um, so, and they're always, we walk in and <laughs> Richard has to, every single night, um, they actually have in this corner up here there is that see that there that one it's actually in the other cage and what he has to do every night is go in pick them up one by one and put them in the coop um and then they'll go to bed it's so, so funny when you walk in the uh, when you walk into a pen all of the babies will run out the door straight up the door like oh hello hello oh yeah the second you come out yeah you're right yeah they're all they're literally straight up against that door in there gently push them away and just be like, you oh, have to yeah that's what I'm worried about. One day we'll end up accidentally stepping on somebody. Oh, having a bit of an argy bargy. Oh, naughty boys. They have a little argy bargy every now and again to see who's boss. But that's why it's called a pecking order. Believe it or not. Yeah. Hmm? This one and that one keep fighting. Hmm. They're beautiful though, aren't they? Look at these wattles. The one up, running up and down the fence. They're lovely wattles. Some of their crests are actually going that mulberry colour as well. Thomas, please stop that. They go, it's, so it's, uh, they're going from scarlet to like a mulberry colour, which is actually the original um, coloration of what their crests originally were, years when they were first made. Bread, whatever you, yeah. Um, so... Well, yeah, they're stunning birds. 
absolutely love them. I will be sad to see them go, but I'd like to go. I'd like them to go to somebody who's going to have them as pets, or maybe a hobby breeder who wants to start breeding their own lines like we do. You know, which will be nice. But once this is done, and we got to we got it that now. I'm gonna. This is what, Jake, what is this, day four now, the babies, the, the, the Seabrights have been in here with the big girls? Yeah. So, yes, day four. So, as I said, they still have a bit of an argy-bargy every now and again. And they will, the bigger girls will chase them around because they're two separate flocks in the same area. But tonight, instead of going back in their own coop, they are now going to move into the big girl coop, I think, tonight. I mean, our bedroom window's just literally just there, so, I mean, if anything does kick off, then... Richie can be down here very, very quickly. Um, but yes, guys, so I just wanted to show you. I'm so chuffed. This stuff's really nice. I like this. It's very soft under your feet as well, isn't it, Jake? Yeah. This stuff. It sounds like snow when you step on it. Yeah, it does. Um, it's supposed to make fantastic compost as well. A friend of mine had this down all winter, and it composted down lovely. So that'll be nice compost for next year, Jake. So hopefully I'll have all the proper raised beds in place by then and your dad's new workshop done. Now these girls have moved. And then once we get your, uh, the concrete pad in place at the top of the garden, we can actually extend this pen properly then. Because this is basically half a pen. It's This pen I'm studying now is 128 square foot, I believe, and that one's only 36 square foot. But once they're integrated... Um, that will be permanently open until I bring the younger the younger babies down. And then obviously that will then be kept shut. Um, so they can see the younger babies, but nobody can get hurt. But obviously, as you can see, 14 birds in there has done a bit of a number on it today. They've been in... What? Managed... You've done this in what? Three hours? Yeah. It's about three hours, yeah. So it all had to be cleaned out first. I think we used half a ton of uh, we had half a ton of gravel yesterday, ten mil, and we still got a couple of barrows left, haven't we? Two, two yes. barrows. So we got about two barrow loads left. So that will go in the in there. So, but we're not going to do that today, I don't think. So I don't know. So, but anyway, guys, I thought I'd give you a little update. The girls seem to be rather enjoying themselves. <laughs> so funny those brahmas they're such big birds i mean look at the size of her and she still makes baby noises at 21 weeks old it's so cute and they are they are wussies aren't they jake yeah. oh they're terrified of oh. i mean they'll go and boss the back the the uh the sea brights around as you can see she's got herself all fluffed up but if the silky fronts up to her she runs off kind of funny. it is kind of funny Pardon? So it who's just been attacking my hand? Who was? The silky. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Oh, four. Five. Silky. They're all hiding behind me and Jake. Silky came over and, uh, yeah, they ran away. Yeah, just got to clean up out there now. So we'll get that done. And I think it's time for a well well earned cup of what do you reckon, Jake? Xbox. Well, with for you, Xbox, for me, a well-earned cuppa. I've been supervising. Supervising is hard work. Supervising. Mm-hmm. And that there, by the way, guys, ignore the mess up there. That is a mushroom Jake carved with his chainsaw. Um, he's going to make me some more uh, for around the garden and some seats and stuff without some of the bigger logs that we've got. So, anyway... Take care, guys, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.